Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigathi Gachagua, the former Vice President, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo, Your Excellency, the Governor of Nyeri County, Honorable Mutai Kahiga, all the PSS present here today, Honorable Members of Parliament present here today, parents, teachers, the clergy, ladies, and gentlemen. God is good, and all the time, and that is his nature. Your Excellency, we are gathered here today with a deep sense of loss. At the very outset, I wish on my own behalf, and on behalf of the Ministry of Education, to convey my heartfelt condolences to the parents, families, friends, and relatives of the 21 young souls whose lives were prematurely cut short by the tragic fire incident on the night of the 5th of September 2024. Permit me, Your Excellency, to read out the names of the departed souls who are pupils. Number one, Ernest Ngaruya Mwangi, Emmanuel Gashoroyo Kiragu, Lewis Wairagu Maina, Michael Ndungu Muridi, John Mungu Gidichi, Bernard Warutere Kuria, Robinson Thehuri Kamida, Collins Muridi Washira, Roy Victor Mturi, John Com Njuguna, Samvin Mnene Maina, Timothy Weru Gadogo, Kent Mungai Mwangi, Ferdinand Karioki Washira, Kelvin Kabogo Njogu, Travis John Karioki Munyeki, Roy Brandon Mugo Gikonyo, Lewis Mashira Gaku, Timothy Wamai Gidinji, Emmanuel Maina Gidinji, Shakshes Kingori Wanjao. I have read these names because I want each one of us to know that they are not just numbers and that they are not going to be part of just statistics. That is why I have read their names because we need to remember their names. The devastating aftermath of the unfortunate incident threw the entire nation into shock and grief. It has caused all of us great pain and sorrow, especially as parents. This has certainly been a particularly difficult and trying moment for the immediate families of the deceased children. Your Excellency, whenever we send our children to school, we do so in the hope and believe that we are preparing them for a healthy and promising future. We do not expect or even imagine that harm would befall them in the school environment. When tragic incidents such as these happen, our hearts are broken and we are left with much pain and regret. As the government, both at the national and county levels, we've made efforts to provide various support to the affected families. Other players, including governmental organizations, have also been very supportive. We will continue to give support as you send off your loved ones. We are acutely aware that this cannot wipe away your tears or take away the unimaginable pain of losing a loved one, especially at such a tender age when they were full of promise. In this difficult moment, I wish to encourage the bereaved families and with a word from the book of Psalms 147 uh, verse 3, and it says, God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their goods. I pray that as you go through this hard and trying time, that the Lord will give you the strength to endure and that he will heal your hearts 
and bind your wounds. Only he can heal your hearts and grant you true comfort. Your Excellency, the loss of these young lives is not going to be in vain. As a ministry, we have made the decision that this has to be the turning point. Our schools must be safe havens for nurturing the potential of our children. Parents and guardians should not live with anxiety over the safety and security of their children in school. The children themselves must not live with concerns about their safety and security in the school environment. We are keen to establish the cause of the tragedy that cost these young lives. The Directorate of Criminal Investigation is leading in this process. And we, as a ministry, are also carrying out an audit to establish if there was any omission on the part of our officers. I want to give the assurance, Your Excellency, that we'll hold to account anybody found culpable for this incident. Your Excellency, we have also commissioned a nationwide audit of all public and private boarding schools to determine the level of compliance with the school safety manual that has been established. We will take firm action to ensure compliance with the requirements of the manual. We will also take firm action to sanction those who have failed to ensure compliance with the manual. We want in the long run to guarantee the confidence of parents, guardians and learners, and indeed all stakeholders that our schools are not danger zones. Your Excellency, as I conclude, I wish to thank all those who have supported the families of the victims since the tragedy happens. There has been an outpouring of support starting from the highest levels of government led by His Excellency the President and Your Excellency the Deputy President. My colleagues in the Ministry of Interior, National Administration, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of East Africa have rendered dedicated support as well. The county government of Nyeri, led by His Excellency Governor Mtai Kaiga, has been of immense support. May I also thank all other players, the Red Cross, such as uh, the emergency groups led by the Red Cross and the clergy, for the support and assistance that they have provided since the night of the tragedy. I urge all of us to sustain this sense of community and solidarity as we navigate this tragedy. Poleni sana na mungu our 